guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my art haul from Germany. I went to Germany a couple months back and I spent two months there so I got to get a lot of new art supplies and stationery stuff from Berlin and Munich respectively. I personally haven't been shopping for new art materials in quite a long time and it's high time that I finally get new paints. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite brands and I'm going to talk about some of them just so you have an idea on what to buy the next time you're going to be traveling and looking for art materials or stationary stuff. So keep watching to know more about it. So for paints, I'm going to introduce to you Schminka. It's one of my favorite brands and it's made in Germany. And I ended up buying most of my new paints from Schminka. So first off is this Academy Gouache set. This set is a set of gouache watercolors. So gouache watercolors are actually more opaque than usual watercolors. And I got the ones in CMYK. So it's the basic colors that you need in order to build up a palette. And I actually have used this on most of my videos from my art residency program and I actually used this a lot while I was painting. So the tubes are 20 ml each and they're quite versatile, they can mix and they're pretty pretty... They're not super dry and it, unlike acrylic, this dries longer, doesn't dry fast and it actually is very much friendly with water, that's why I like using them. And I'm actually, I've actually finished most of the pink ones. And yeah, I always use them and I'm glad that I got a set. It's actually quite expensive, but the thing about Schminka is you really get good quality with all of their paints, so I really recommend them. Next up is I bought their Linoprint inks. Although I have not used this because I ended up buying a set for printmaking and I wanted to make sure that I get good quality inks for that, so hopefully I make a video out of using these, but they're actually quite big and I got primary colors and a white so I'm gonna be showing you more of my printmaking stuff later on so I've also been really keen on getting a new watercolor set from Schminka so I got myself the Horadam Aquarelle so there actually is a college version and this is a more professional version so it's more archival so it says finest artist watercolors and this one is actually pretty, pretty expensive. I have one set before, but I needed a small one so that I can take it around when I travel. And at the same time, I have not changed my Schminka set for four long years. So it comes with a tin like this and you get to see the colors, they are brand new. And I think this is a brush, I believe it's from Da Vinci. So yeah, it really comes with basic colors. There's also an option where you can buy the tin and then buy your own paints, but because I'm not really particular with the colors that I want and I do have colors that I eventually will use, I will purchase those separately, but these ones are very basic like lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, the usual blues, Prussian blue, greens, ochres, and you also have, of course have black. So compared to the gouache, this one is more transparent, so it's more useful for layering and especially doing a lot of urban sketching and travel journaling, which I will be using mostly for this set. And since we're on the topic of drawing supplies, I ended up getting these two cases. It was funny because I was planning to just get this one, but then my friend was like, get this one. So you need it for uh, traveling and you don't need to bring a lot of colors. So I got this set of Karandash watercolor pencils. They are called the Super Color Too Soft. They actually come in a really great variety of colors. These are the ones that I got. They are very much in varied colors and I would say I chose this palette because I use a lot of these like grays for watercolors and then I also need some of these like reds and pinks and I actually got a very selected color scheme if you see here and I think that's very useful especially if you have a body of work that's very specific so I have started using these on architect architectural sites because the grays are really hard to mix when it comes to 
watercolor you have to mix black and white and this one it's just oh you just color this in and then it already has an effect so yeah I put them inside this one because it's really efficient and then in case I just need some of my neutrals I'll just bring this on the go so for printmaking I also bought these they're actually for carving and then I also got this lino cutter and baron kit it's three in one supposedly yeah, it's actually three in one, which I was shocked. So you have this circular thing, you put it here, and then you stamp it. You put it up, you put ink in, and then stamp it. And then this one you can remove, and it's actually the cutter. So I have yet to practice that, but I will get, let you guys know how that works. I'm really excited because I've done printmaking when I was in Germany last year, but I really haven't gotten the time to actually try the craft myself. I also bought a roller for my inks in case I'm gonna make bigger pieces. So moving on to stationery, I discovered a lot of stores that carry a lot of very different types of stationery items, stickers and stuff. And what I like about it is they're all very different and I really liked how everything sort of made sense for me in terms of usage. So like for example, this one. This is a really, really cute kit that I got from I don't know if the pronunciation is right, but it'll include all of the stores that I visited. So it's actually a holder for washi, journaling stuff, pens, and I was like, you know, every time I'm gonna go journaling, I'm gonna be getting this and like putting all my stuff here, stickers and everything, just so they're all in one place. And of course, I really like the color. I was debating between getting a, this one and like a yellow one, but I was like, okay, let's go with this like teal color. So speaking of Sostene Grene, I found out that they have quite a lot of things apart from art materials and stationery. So I got these like goodie bags. They are cute because I ended up putting gifts here and giving them out to friends. And I'm the type who always likes to be very particular with packaging. So these ones were really great because this one is just white with some gold elements and they're really, really cute. Also, this one is sort of like a girly pattern. I actually got them on the food section because I'm resourceful like that. And I also got a lot of other things from Sustrena Grene, such as this sticker set of neutral colored squares. And then my friend Ellen gave me self-adhesive tile stickers. They're actually really nice. I mean, look at the patterns. They're really, really cute. And what I like about Sustrena Grene is all of their items have a specific color scheme. It's either very pink, turquoise, gray. It's very neutral and it's something that's up on my alley. So I definitely went there more than a few times. I also got some washi tape. I actually have more, but they're in Berlin right now. But these are the three ones that I got. This first one, I got this from Sustrena Grene. It's supposed to be a like things to do notes goals kind of thing hello please cooperate there and then this next one is from mt i don't know if you guys seen this but when i saw it i was like it's very sciencey and i really wanted to get it and lastly i got this from louis ban it's very cute with like people and a lot of like daily life scenery and i think i'm very particular with that kind of designs when it comes to choosing washi tapes so these are some ones I got. And in random stationary acquisitions, I got this vintage Berlin map postcard because I'm gonna put it up on my wall at the back. I also got this uh, these LEDs from Koinor. I don't remember if I brought home, but I bought this like handmade pen holder, graphite pen holder. And I also bought the lead just in case I needed it. And I found it really useful for drawing and sketching my lettering. I went to this store called ED, and it's a very popular stationery store in Germany. And I bought this set of inks from ED. These are under the brand Paper Poetry, and the colors are really, really nice. They also had a lot of turquoise and a lot of neons and stuff. So I'm using this for my stamping. And other random news, I also saw this Faber-Castell vanilla colored 
text liner and it was really pretty on paper it's very neutral and I think it's really useful especially if you want to do bullet journaling or if you want to do some spreads that are very neutral like not very shockingly bright because mostly text liners are really really bright and like neon colored for school and this is a really really great alternative so I've been overusing it obviously and other random news as well I got this like tiny bulb wait for it it's so cute it's also good for my Instagram feed I don't know things I buy in the Serena Green I also got this set of paper clips they are very pretty and the color is actually very much an old rose slash mauve slash taupe slash gray. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you get the point. It's just really pretty and I love pretty things and I love stationery, so let's not even discuss about it. There's this store called Santoki in Prince Lauerberg. It's full of Korean stationery and I really like this four color dot stickers that they had because I've had this phase now in my journals that I use a lot of circular stickers so they're really helpful and they come in a lot of specific colors so I was like yes I'm gonna get them I also visited this store in Berlin store that's also a cafe called type hype it's really pretty because they have a lot of typography inspired stuff and there's actually a typesetting machine at the back of the store so of course I had to get the last A notebook this is just a basic A6 notebook but I really have to commend the quality of the paper and even the way that it was packaged which is really nice I also got this set of numbers that have been I believe hand drawn hand lettered numbers so they're stickers and I obviously don't want to use them but We'll see, but yeah, they're just really pretty and I this was during my last week in Berlin So I was like, you know, I'm gonna just get this and like make it like something that I'm gonna keep in terms of like memorabilia I also got this notebook called Rotherfallen. It is a German based brand. It reminds me of I also got this notebook called Rotherfarben. It is kind of like field notes, I would say. It's dotted inside, I believe. Yes, it's dotted. And I like that it's sewn in. So, yeah, I really like it. 100% made in Germany. It's really just really tiny. I like my small notebooks. And I actually bought a book while I was in Berlin. This is Keep Going by Austin Kleon. I have been a fan of Austin Kleon since his first book, See Like an Artist, and his second book, Show Your Work. And this one was just a really good way to sort of fully achieve what he wanted to say in terms of creating art and just keeping on going. So I really recommend this book. It was really a good time, especially when during the time I was having a hard time with my creative career. I started reading this and it really helped me. So it's a really, really good book. And lastly, how can I not forget buying paper? I actually have more paper while I was in Berlin and they're all huge so I didn't take them home. But I did end up using more than three-fourths of this Boosner uh, Aquarelle 300. It is square. That's something you rarely see in watercolor paper. So what I liked about this, the quality is not that great. It's just that the size is really good. And I can do a lot of lettering here and then what, what happened was I worked on a series of stuff that were sort of all in this square format and I found that really easy to manage. So yeah, I also have a video on Bosner's stash of art supplies. I'll definitely link that down below so you have an idea on how crazy it is that I've been shopping there for every week that I was in Berlin because I went to art the art residency program and did a lot of shopping, did a lot of material sourcing and really discovered what materials I really needed for my work and lastly I got this Hanemul I hope I pronounced that correctly this is also an aquarelle it's a watercolor uh, yeah it's watercolors 200 GSM sorry it's 425 GSM it's a bit bigger I did this for most of my big work but I'm not sure if I really like the quality as well because 
I am very particular with my watercolors, like I only use Canson and Arches. So sometimes my flexibility with these things really changes and I haven't used them in terms of wet and wet techniques so it's really hard to determine what the capacity of the paper is. But I guess since I do a lot of lettering and a lot of solid work, it really just matters on how thick and how the paper can handle all the paint and pigment that is on the paper. So that's it for my art haul from Germany. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek of some of the stuff that I got. Make sure to check out my description below for all of the places where I got these materials. And in case you have any more questions, feel free to comment below and ask me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other videos and get some inspiration on art and always be creating. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!